I have Jack Davis here from Epic Yard Farm and we are going to be saving seeds from the purple of Romagna artichoke. This is the plant that was given to me by Patty Hayden from Las Vegas and I can't wait for her to show me how to save the seeds. Very easy. <laughs> First thing we're going to do is remove the strains of the petals from the artichoke flower and each of these flower petals has um, a seed attached to the end and then that's how we'll remove the seed from the flower. So when you're removing these individual flowers, you can see their individual flowers. So when they're pollinated, the end of the flower on the inside is where the seed is. You want to be careful when you're removing these outer kylix pieces. They're, they could stab you. But what I usually do is just pull and release and see all these are seeds. It's oh. almost like a dandelion. Oh, that's really interesting. That's just got a little fan on it. Mm -hmm. So when it naturally it releases itself and then it will kind of fly is, and spin. This is just what the milkweed seed looks like, kind of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. But also like dandelion, mm -hmm. the, the top of dandelion has this kind of fireworks. Mm -hmm. It catches the wind and then it gets picked up and flow away and then that's how it spreads. Mm -hmm. Okay. So all you have to do is just release the seed from the... Oh. And there you go, you got your artichoke seed and you just gotta... Now that first handful, you just got one from that? Or... Oh no, I see, you took the whole thing off. Yeah, so it's right and now really tight. Those. Oh yes. See I how see. many there are? Yes. Oh wow. You want to catch Oh, okay. I'll hold it like that. Yeah, kind of catch it as you're pulling the oh, fluff out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that comes right off. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. Yeah, there is a lot. You got good pollination there. Wow. Well, the bees love mm -hmm. artichoke. When you're saving seeds, you want to save the larger, healthy, plump seeds compared to these more shriveled and not well pollinated. And this might not even be pollinated. Uh, you can see the difference in size. The shiny, fat, healthy ones are the ones you want to save. And what I've noticed for artichoke seeds is a lot of times the outside perimeter of the flower has more of the fatter seeds. The inside and the middle are the smaller ones and I think it's because it's easier for the bees to access and pollinate the flowers on the outer edge than the ones in the middle that's tighter. This is all the seeds in the middle of the flower. See how small they are compared to these closer to the outside. Wow, there's a big difference. Mm -hmm. These compost and break down real fast. So you can just throw the, these fluffy things into your compost pile. Oh, great. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this channel, liking my videos, and especially sharing them with your friends. Look in the description below for ways to support this channel, including ordering a new Late Bloomer t-shirt. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. And if you enjoyed this one, why not try these? If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.